Hi, we're Jake and Emily, the two roaming souls. This morning, we're attempting Ashdown Gorge Canyon in Utah. This rugged canyon hike really has no trail to speak of and requires endless river crossings through a murky, fast-moving river. It's going to be challenging for sure, and I haven't quite prepped Emily for what to expect. And that's where we jump into the story, a cold morning in the mountains where both of us are struggling to muster the energy for this hike. Gearing up. <laughs> My other one's so tight. Emily, are you excited for this hike? No, not really. <laughs> it's freaking cold outside. And I hate being cold. <laughs> so this better be epic. Is all I have to say. We saw a bunch of snow on the way, and so the river is probably going to be freezing. It's also very murky, and we got to cross it many times, so we're very hesitant about this one, <laughs> but hopefully we'll make it. There's a couple cool waterfalls and some good slot canyon I mean, sections. It does start off pretty cool from the trail. Yeah. Right. Let's hit it. Jake told me how murky this water was before coming out here. We probably wouldn't be here right now. I am not excited about this. And it's also called Rattlesnake Creek. So we have a lot going for us today. First potential river crossing, but I think we found a bridge, but it definitely has some icicles on it, which proves that this water is going to be frigid. <laughs> One thing about river hikes like this is that you're always better off just committing to the water early to save yourself time. But it's just human nature to try to find any possible way to keep your feet dry a little bit longer. These silly log crossings will seem completely trivial by the time we're hiking out and have crossed the river 50 times. Whew. All right, first crossing in the books. Hopefully, they get more chill than that. But I doubt it. How did you get there? One big step on the... quicksand. It's not quicksand. That's quicksand. All right, go like this. Go under this log. <laughs> I hope it gets more fun than this. <laughs> This one looks pretty sketchy. Why are we doing this? Just ripped a hole. In his absolute favorite melanzana. If you haven't you know, followed us, you probably noticed that every single photo has this melanzana in it. And he lost his favorite hat like three days ago. Yeah, we're having a tough go out here. Nature's getting the best of us. <laughs> yeah. But this is pretty rugged and cool. Remember how to cross a fast moving river. You face upstream and you move sideways while bracing yourself with whatever walking sticks or 
trekking pole as you have. Let's go. I get myself into these things. another crawl. After your fourth or fifth crossing, you start to gain a little bit of confidence, getting slightly less hesitant each time you approach the river. And finally, we reach a narrowing of the canyon where the scenery really starts to pay off. out of my comfort zone at the moment not having the best time <laughs> but we were only like a mile like 1.2 miles in and honestly uh, it's taken us probably like two hours to get there so it's finally getting cool and it's finally becoming worth it so I'm excited Taking a much needed break in the sun for some a morale boost. Is it like yeah, the honey sticker and waffles are so good. It's the kind of candy you need to keep you going. I'm trying to change my attitude. Kind of just been like negative this whole time. But I'm not going to have a good time if I'm just negative, so I'm going to try to think positively. Think of how lucky I am to be out here. I mean, it is really cool, but we're going to stay positive. We're going to get through this, and it's going to be great. <laughs> We made it to the split in the trail um, where there's another creek coming in, a couple cool waterfalls up there. I'm sure Emily's gonna be very happy to be in some clear water that's not flowing quite as strong. It's like basically walking in the dark in these rivers. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it wears on you for sure. But this next part should be cool. Let's hit it.
Okay, so it took us like four and a half hours to go three, three and a half miles. Wow. So probably not gonna film too much on the way out because you've already seen it and uh, we need to get out of here yeah, before. Yeah, it's like 4.20 right now. And so we're gonna be getting back at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move fast, but carefully so we don't roll an ankle. And about two seconds after him saying that, um, I have nowhere to see him. He's taking this sweet time over there. Reaction time. Do we have to do it again? Back into the dirty water, many more times. That's one. Of 45. We got back to the van exhausted and with the soggiest of feet. After such a long day, neither of us was in the mood to cook dinner. I sensed that Emily could use a little comfort, and when we got into town, the universe delivered. We stumbled upon a place very dear to Emily's Midwestern heart. All the trials of the day were washed away with a large order of cheese curds. Okay. 